all praises, all praises, all praises, all praises, all praises, honor and glory to the power of our forefathers, starting from Abraham, Isaac, unto Jacob. His name is Yahweh, our heavenly father. Yes. And his only begotten son, the redeemer of Israel. His name is Yahweh Shah. He is the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, coming in his glory to gather his elect from the four corners of the world, the so-called Latino, the so-called blacks, Native American, African American, Caribbean, spread across the four corners of the world. We are the Hebrew Israelite. No, we are not a color from the crayon box. We are not black. No, we are not Negroes. These are all the by words that these nations put on us, pursuing to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. That's right. These are the curses that the Lord placed on us because we are his special people. That's right. He says, whom a father loveth, he chastens. So when we go off, he punishes us. And it's that simple. Yes, but these nations, you know, they came together, pursued the book of uh, Psalm 83. And they tried their best to make sure that, wow, we don't remember that name anymore. But they didn't know that it was the Lord Yahweh and His only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, that wrote the script. That's right. That's how they wrote the script. You thought you were in control. No, you are not in control because the same Lord said that in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves and call upon my name. That's exactly what is happening right now. You see, we stand in great boldness. Eh? The spirit of the Lord is upon us heavy because while we are living in the last days, this is the mercies that he's showing us. He says what? He's going to pour what? The mercies of David. Hmm? Yeah. The sure mercies of David. I'm just roughly paraphrasing because like I said in my lessons, through the Spirit, eh, David should have been put to death because of what he did. But he said the sure mercies of David, that's what the Lord is, uh, the Lord is pouring upon us in these last days. Yes, it is uh, extremely cold out here. But for me, the heat, the Spirit is upon me eh, to preach good tidings. Yes, to the meek, the lonely. Yes, Apostle Paul says what? Take no thought for what, what actually, you know what, let's get it, let's get it. Family, again, it's your brother Malak coming to you once again with the good news. Yes, with the good news. This is the comfort of family. This word is supposed to comfort us. You see, the word that the Lord says, what? The Lord is spirit. The word, the word of the Lord is spirit. Hey, eh? We are living in a beautiful time. We are living a beautiful time. The fact that the Lord pulled us out of that plantation Christianity, that alone the Lord deserved the glory and the honor and the praise because we were dead. We were in a dead state. Hey? But here we are now looking for the coming, looking forward to the coming of our King, Yahweh Shai, in his glory. Family, all eyes shall see him. Yes, including those that pierce him. That goes back into reincarnation. Family, that's what is coming. All praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Shalom to the elect, the apple of the Lord's eyes. Yes, downtrodden, the reproach of this nation, the butt of every joke, and the first to be, what? Fired, the last to be hired. Hmm? Living in the ghettos, eh? The projects, the reservations, family. These are our dwelling places, but now we know why we are in those states. But the same Lord that gave us into these nations, family, the same Lord is about to glorify us. But he's telling you never to flee to Africa. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not going anywhere. Don't worry about what you're going to eat because we have many examples in the book telling us exactly what our forefathers went through. They put their trust in our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And he came through for them every single time. We will wait on the Lord. Because he told us, they that wait on the Lord will do what? Will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings. Eh? The strength. The spiritual blessing that the Lord is about to pour upon us. Family, these nations will not be able to contain us. Let's begin with the book of Matthew chapter 6, 25. It says here, Therefore I say unto you, 
take no thought for your life. Hey? Eh? What ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on is not the life more than the meat and the body than the raiment? The Lord is asking you a question, excuse me. Hey? Eh? The Lord is asking you a question. He says, Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bounds. Yet your heavenly Father, Yahweh, feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? That's the question. Are they? It says here, Are ye not much better than they? You don't think you are more better and more important than the fowls of the heaven, but yet the Lord feeds them? So when Ronald Dalton, the false prophet, is telling you that, yes, in Africa there are a lot of resources there now, you know, the best thing we can do for ourselves as a community is to get our passport and flee to Africa? No, family, that's a false prophet. Eh? No, that's not a shepherd that you should be following. The shepherd is supposed to uh, keep eye on the flock. Eh? You don't scatter the flock. No, family, we will never stop. Family, we are living in the last days. Yahweh Shai is telling you to wait. Wherever you are, wait for him because he told us in the book, Yes, your food is going to take care of it. We have many examples in the book. That's why Apostle Paul says in the book of Romans 15, 4. Let's go to it. Romans 15, 4. It says here. <clears throat> Sorry. Romans 15, 4. Give it a second. It says here. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for what? Our learning. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Are you listening to this? The comfort of the scriptures. It says here, let me repeat this. It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we, the elect of Israel, through patience, meaning what? Suffering. Patience go back to the word suffering. And comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So what he's trying to say is, go back, read the scriptures. Many examples in the book where our forefathers, family big example. Hey? Our forefathers, family when they was farming. When our beloved Joseph was in Egypt. Hey? When the brothers sold him into slavery, hey? They didn't know that that was all part of the lost movie. The children of Israel went to Egypt during that famine. Family, the Lord fed them. These are the examples, family, that we're supposed to be drawn upon. Family, so this is what Apostle Paul is saying. Okay? Whatever was written aforetime, family, we left Egypt. You know how we can be whining and complaining. You know, driving Moses nuts. Hey, why are we, why, why did you, why Moses, why did you bring us here to kill us? Why, why are you doing this thing for, why are you doing this thing to us? We can't even drink water. That's our people. Yes. What did the Lord do? The Lord brought us my angel bread. Hey, you wake up in the morning, the field, the grass was covered. Hey. With bread from heaven. At night time, quail, meat, family. That's what Apostle Paul is saying. So we don't have to flee anywhere. We're going to wait on the Lord. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He's going to feed us. Yes, these are examples. Family, there are many examples. Let me bring them out. Family, through the Spirit. Oh, there are many, many examples. Let's go to... who. Um, 
Let's go to Exodus. This is Exodus, Exodus, Exodus 16. The book of Exodus. Exodus 16, 22. Oof. Here, listen to this. Exodus chapter 16, verse 12. It says here, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel speaking unto them, saying, listen to this. At even ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread. This thing is jumping on me, family. Here we go again. It says here, verse 12. Ex sorry, Exodus 16. Let's, let's read a bit of this. Family, actually, you know what? So when, after they've pissed off Moses, you know, driving him not here. This is what Moses is saying to the children of Israel. Let's read a bit of this. Okay, here. So, uh, sorry, 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 family. It says here, Exodus 16, it says verse 2. Starting from verse 2, it says, And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to the Most High would have died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt. When we sat by the flesh pots and when we did eat bread, to the full, for ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. You see our people? We cry unto our Lord. Eh? He sent Moses. The family, we built Pharaoh's all the pyramids. Eh? Working 18 hours a day in this, in this under the sun. And now Moses is here. And we're along with all the angels to deliver us. Now here we are in the wilderness complaining and whining. He says here, then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. And Moses and Aaron said unto all the children of Israel, At even... Then ye shall know that the Lord have brought you out from the land of Egypt. And in the morning, then ye shall see the glory of the Lord. For that he heareth your murmurings against the Lord, Yahweh. And what are we that ye murmured against us? No. And Moses said, this shall be when the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat. And in the morning, bread to the full. For that the Lord heareth your murmurings which ye murmured against him, and that are we, your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. And Moses spake unto Aaron, say unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, come near before the Lord, for he have heard your murmurings. And it came to pass, as Aaron spoke unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked forward, sorry, they looked towards the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The cloud is the chariot, family. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, I have heard the memories of the children of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, At even ye shall eat flesh in the morning, and ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am the Lord of your power. And it came to pass that at evening the quails came up and covered the camp. And in the morning the dew lay round about the host. And when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness, there lay small round tin, as small as the whole frost on the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is manna, for they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. That's the power that we serve, family. That's the power that we serve. Hmm? That's the power that we serve. So it doesn't matter, family. We don't have to flee anyway. There's nothing new under the sun. Family, this is our last captivity. We were crying unto the Lord. Remember in Egypt, crying, 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 whining, and then he sent us what? Moses and Aaron. 
to deliver us. Along with the angels, along with Yahweh Shai, who was piloting the chariot that followed us by it. What? Night and a day. Yahweh Shai was there. Yahweh Shai just didn't pop up in the book of uh, Matthew. No. So the same thing is happening right now. We are crying unto the Lord and he's about to deliver us. Whatever we need to sustain us, he is going to provide. It's that simple. And we have to believe it. We have to believe it, family. We have to believe it. There are many, 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 many examples. Family, let's go to uh, 2 Kings. The book of, actually, no, 1 Kings. 1 Kings 17. 1 Kings 17. Let's pick it up from 2. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward. Come on, come on, come on. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, this is the Lord. This is Elijah, family. Elijah, Elijah, who was beamed up into the heavens. It says here, get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook, the, by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. Verse 6. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. This is what Apostle Paul was saying, family. Whatever was written aforetime was for our what? Our knowledge. Hey, our comfort. So these are the stories that we have to draw upon. There's nothing the Lord will not be able to do for us, family. Hey, we can put the Lord in a box. He, is, he sent the ravens, the ravens to feed Elijah. These are the things that we need to draw upon. So family, we are not getting no ticket to flee to Africa. Oh no. And wherever we are, the Lord is going to deliver us, family. The Lord is going to deliver us. All praises to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakodash. Family, we are in great hands. Oh, we are in great hands. There's another one. Uh, oh, it's not Sam. Um, yeah, we can put the Lord in the box, family. We can put the Lord in the box. Many examples, family. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's go to Bell and Dragon, chapter 1. Let's go to the Bell and Dragon, chapter 1. Oh, family, this is beautiful. Let's go to Bell and Dragon, chapter 1, in the, Ecclesiastes, sorry, in, in the book of Apocrypha. This is when Daniel, listen to this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Bell and Dragon, chapter 1. Let's go straight to the point. 20, 27. This is when the true Daniel in the, um, the lion's den. Family, listen to this. When they of Babylon heard, let's pick it up from verse 28. This is the bell and the dragon, chapter 1, verse 20. It says, when they of Babylon heard that, they took great indignation and conspired against the king, saying, the king is become a Jew. And he have destroyed Baal, he have slain the dragon and put the priest to death. This is when Daniel says, no, 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 I'm not worshipping your God. No, no, Daniel, oh, no. <laughs> Daniel said, I'm not worshipping your God. So what? Daniel started bad-mouthing the God. And in long, long story short, <clears throat> they were confounded. Excuse me. They were confounded. And uh, uh, basically, uh, what's it called? Uh, shoot. Uh, Daniel, sorry. Daniel. Uh, the, word, the word is leaving me. Uh, what is it called? Uh, the, uh, what's, what's, what's that? So Daniel set a trap. Actually, you know what? Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. It says here. Uh, Bell and the dragon chapter 1. Let's pick it up from verse 17. And the king said, Daniel, are the seals whole? And said, yea, O king. Actually, no, let's go back. Let's go back to... Let's go back to uh, verse 11. It says, So Baal priest said, Lo, we go out. But thou, O king, set on the meat 
and make ready the wine and shut the door fast and seal it with thine own signet and tomorrow when thou comest in if thou findest not the bell have eaten up all we will suffer death or else Daniel thou speaketh falsely against us and they little regarded it for under the table they had made a, pri a privy entrance whereby they entered in continually and consumed those things so basically they setting food for this uh, this idol and eh? pretending that it is the idol that is eating the food so Daniel, Daniel is just laughing, telling them, okay, listen, let's set a trap for these people. Let's find out who is actually eating the food that you're setting before the idols. You see? And then here it says, so when they were gone forth, the king set meat before Bel. Now Daniel had commanded the servants to bring ashes, and those they strew throughout all the temple in the presence of the king alone. Then went they out and shut the door and sealed it with the king's signet. And so departed. Okay, so now let's pick it up from verse 26. It said, Then said Daniel unto the king, I will worship the Lord my power, for he is the living power. But give me leave, O king, and I shall slay this dragon without sword or staff. The king said, I give thee leave. Then Daniel took pitch and fat and hair and did see them together and made lumps. Therefore, this is he put in the dragon's mouth and so the dragon burst in thunder. And Daniel said, Lo, these are the gods ye worship. Okay. When, the, when they of Babylon heard that, they took great indignation and conspired against the king, saying, The king has become a Jew and he have destroyed Baal. He have slain the dragon and put the priest to death. Okay, so here, so they came to the king and said, deliver us Daniel or else we will destroy thee and thine house. Now when the king saw that, they pressed him sore. Being constrained, he delivered Daniel into their hands. Now listen to this. Who cast him into the lion's den when he was six days? Family, he was in the lion's den for six days. But here, who cast him into the lion's den where he was six days? And in the den there were seven lions, and they had given them every day two carcasses and two sheep, which then were not given to them to the intent that they might devour Daniel. So they made sure that these lions were not fed. So the moment Daniel goes in there, the lions will devour him. But listen to this. Now there was a Jew, a Jewry, meaning a Jew, prophet called Habakkuk. You know Habakkuk. Oh, yes. Habakkuk was in Babylon at that time, too. It says here, around that region, anyway, it says here, but it says, now there was a Jew prophet called Habakkuk who had made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going into the field for to bring it to the reapers. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, go, carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon, into Daniel, who is in the lion's den. Family, and Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon. Neither do I know where the den is. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown, eh, grabbed, grabbed him by the, his hair, family, and bare him by the hair of his head and, th and through the vehemency of his spirit set him in Babylon over the den. And Habakkuk cried, saying, Oh, Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which the Most High have sent thee. You hear that, family? So the time that we are about to enter, in, enter into, Family, but here, let's finish this. Said, and Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O power. Neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. Hey? Hey? So Daniel arose and did eat, and the angel of the Lord set Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. So, family, that's the faith that we have to have in the time that we are living in. Yes, no matter what these people are bringing to us. These are the stories that we have to draw on. These are the things that we need to remember. These are the words of the Lord. Family, the word of the Lord is spirit. Yes. This word, family, that I speak to you today are spirit, family. This is what comforts us. Because, family, the Lord is always going to show up. Not on your time, but his time. So no matter... What these people are telling us to flee and go and hide somewhere and we got family. No, 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 no. No. This is not the time. The Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear. No. 
He gave us peace. He gave us sound mind. Hey? You think he brought us this far? He woke us up. Family, we didn't know this new song. No. We were dead in plantation Christianity. Now he has washed us with his spirit. And now all of a sudden he's going to forsake you. No, it doesn't work that way. There's a reason why you have this truth. Hey? You have this truth simply because why? The Lord is ready to deliver you. If you are the elect. So family, it says the apostle Paul says, no, Matthew says what? Take no thought. Take no thought. Hey? Take no thought. Let's let's they must well finish with that. Take no thought for what you're gonna eat. Family, the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. Actually, you know what though? Let's finish with Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 2.10. Ecclesiastes chapter 2. Yeah, this is cold. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 10. It says here. Let's finish with this. Ecclesiastes chapter 2. It says, starting from verse 9, it says, Yea, that fear the Lord, hope for good. And for everlasting joy and mercy. It says here, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did, the, did he ever despise that call upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgive us sins and save us in the time of affliction. You hear that? In the time of affliction. Yes, the Lord is going to feed us. Yes. We're going to have plenty. Yes. And it says in the book of, uh, it says the he, it says, is it uh, Second Ezra? Let's see if I think it's Second Ezra. Second Ezra 2.28. Is it 228? Here, let's finish with this. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 27 says, Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Are you here? Yeah, it says, let's listen. It says, Be not weary. Second Ezra chapter 2 verse 27 says, Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Verse 28, it says, The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, says the Lord. And we're going to leave it there, family. I hope you were edified. Yeah, so, you know, like Apostle Paul says in the Romans 15, 4, whatever was written aforetime, okay, was written for our knowledge with true hope. Let's, let's, let's finish with that. Let's finish with that. Sorry, family. I know sometimes I go over, but uh, I want this thing to be a quick exhortation. Build up your spirit. Eh? Have faith in your Lord. Trust in the Lord. Family, he is going to deliver us. Our food, our raiment is going to take care of it. Okay? It says here, Romans 15 again, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written afore time, before, afore time, eh? written for afore time, it's a written afore time, were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So we know we were fed in the wilderness. Eh? We had angel bread, manna, eh? Elijah was fed by the ravens. Yes, you know, during the famine in Canaan, our forefathers went to what? Egypt. There was food for them. They had more than they can wish for. Family, yes, the Lord is going to take care of us. Okay, the Lord is going to take care of us. So family, with that, I hope you were edified. We're going to leave it there. 
We're going to leave it there. All praises. Let's give honor and glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. All praises, honor and glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. All praises, honor and glory to our power. The power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and his only begotten son, the Redeemer of Israel. Yes, his name is Yahweh Shai. Shalom to you. Shalom to you. And stay prayed up. Continue to fast. Continue to put your trust in the Lord. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. Family, you don't need a ticket. Yes, we're going to wait on the Lord. Shalom.